children my name's ben thank you so much for letting me be part of your assembly today now mm, i wonder if you know what season we're in i found this on the floor today isn't it beautiful it's a leaf that's turning red and they turn orange and yellow and brown and they go crispy and crunchy and they fall off the trees to the floor in this season. Do you know what season it is? It's autumn. And in autumn we do lots of fun things. The conkers come and we can have conker fights. Um, we celebrate Halloween and maybe carve some pumpkins. We have bonfire night. Guy Fawkes night where we have fireworks and, and, and bonfires. But today I want to talk to you about a very special festival in autumn called harvest. Now that's quite a difficult word. What is harvest? Well harvest is when the farmers collect in all of their crops, maybe their vegetables, maybe all the fruit is collected in. Don't play with your food at home. And at harvest time, sometimes the churches in the UK, they have a harvest festival where they celebrate joyfully and give thanks to God for all the food that he has provided us. Do you know what? Me and you are very fortunate because we were born into a wealthy country. In the UK, we have houses to live in and probably your kitchen cupboards and your refrigerator has good food inside for you to enjoy. But not everyone in the world is as fortunate as we are. So harvest is a time to be thankful, a time to learn to be content and a time to remember the importance of sharing. Today, I want to talk to you about thankfulness. Children, I wonder how you would feel and what you would think if I gave you a donut. Hmm. I wonder whether you would say, hold on a minute, Ben. That donut, it's got a hole in it. Why has it got a hole in it? That's not very fair. Why are you trying to give me a donut with a hole in it? Look at the size of that hole. I will take it, Ben, but oh, it's not really very fair. I wish I had a bigger one than that with no hole in it. Or I wonder whether you would say, mm, Ben, are you giving that to me? Look at the donut. It looks so sticky and sweet and delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Thank you so much for giving me a lovely donut. Well, do you know what? In life, it's really easy to focus on the hole instead of the donut. In life, it's really easy to think about all the things we don't have. It's really easy to be overwhelmed by all the problems and all the difficulties and all the challenges of life. And for all those things to be in our mind and in our heart all the time. But harvest is a really good time to focus on the donut and to remember all the good things that God has given us. You know, we've got, we've got, you've got to go to school today. You have teachers who want you to learn and have opportunities in life. Wow, be thankful. You have friends. There's children around you now who you can look after and you can care for. And if you do that for them, they will do it back to you. We should be thankful for our friends. Hopefully you've had breakfast this morning and you'll have some lunch and dinner later. We can be thankful for food. You're wearing clothes today to keep you warm. You have a coat to keep you warm. You have a house 
where you can stay safe and a bedroom where you can go to sleep and maybe some toys in your bedroom. So many things to give thanks for. Well, I'm going to read a story about thankfulness to you now. Eric Says Thanks by Di Hanke. Eric woke one awesome morning and sat at the table, stretching and yawning, as he tucked into his toasty bread. This brekkie is epic, Eric said. My taste buds are buzzing, my belly is blessed. I'm loving this loaf. Toast is the best. But who do I thank for this scrumptious treat? My mum, of course. Eric sprang to his feet. He ran to the kitchen and called to his mum. Thanks a gazillion. My breakfast was yum. His grateful smile was ten miles wide. Oh, Eric, that's sweet, his mum replied. But all I did was toast the bread. You should be thanking the baker instead. So out of the door with a hip and a hop, Eric popped out to the baker's shop. Hey, Mr. Baker, I just came to say thanks for the loaf you made yesterday. You make the bestest bread on the planet. I tried to thank mum, but she just wouldn't have it. She told me that you're the one to be praised. So three cheers for you. Hip hip. Hooray! That's kind, the baker began. But the fellow who fetches the flowers, your man, without the flour, there'd be no bread. You should really be thanking him instead. His name is Dan. He drives a big van. I'm on it, said Eric, and off he ran. A short while later, Eric found Dan. He was taking a nap in the back of his van. He banged the window and shouted, Dan, you're the world's most epic delivery man. I'm loving the loaves the baker deals, but he couldn't do it without your wheels. You're welcome, dude, said Dan with a grin. But it's really the miller you should be thanking. She grinds the grain that makes the flour to bake the bread that you devour. Quick as a flash, Eric dashed up the hill to thank the lady who worked at the mill. He knew he'd find her by the grinder, and when he did, he sat beside her. Thank you, Mrs. Miller, he chimed. Your flower is epic, one of a kind. Oh, dearie, it's my pleasure, of course, but it's not me who deserves your applause. Without the wheat, there'd be no grinding. You should thank Farmer Pete if you can find him. So Eric legged it to the farm. He looked in the fields, he checked in the barn. Finally, he found him working hard, fixing his tractor across the yard. Sorry to bother you, Farmer Pete, but I wanted to thank you for growing this wheat. Without the wheat, the miller could never grind the greatest flour ever. Then Dan, the fantastic delivery man, would have nothing to drop off in his van. Mr. Baker could make no bread, so Mum would buy something else instead. And the ultimate tragedy would be, there'd be no tasty toast for me. Farmer Pete put down his spanner and replied to Eric in the gentlest manner. I'm grateful for your gratitude, plucky young fella, but I think there's something I need to tell you. Each day... The sun rises way up high, giving light and heat from the sky. And see those clouds that are plump with rain, soon they're burst and water the grain. So as hard as I work to harvest this crop, your journey of thanks, it has one last stop. Eric looked up and then down at the grain. But who do I thank for sunshine and rain? The old farmer smiled and whispered, let's look at what God says in his good book. And pulling a Bible from his dungarees, he thumbed a few pages, then started to read. Love the Lord, serve him heart and soul, for he sends the rain that makes the grain grow. The little lad beamed as the farmer read it. I get it, yelled Eric. Let's give God the credit. So Eric paused and he closed his eyes. God, thanks for my epic adventure today and all the people I met on the way. 
They all played their part in giving me toast. I've thanked them all, but I thank you the most. Amen! I hope you enjoyed that story and that it reminded you of the importance of thankfulness. Let's take a moment of quiet reflection and in your heart now, maybe you could close your eyes and just think of a couple of things which make your life happy and which you can be thankful for. And then I will pray. So let's close our eyes for a moment of quiet and then let's pray. Heavenly Father, all good gifts, they come from you. So we thank you for our teachers who want us to do well in life. And we thank you for our friends in school who we can care for and love. And we thank you for food and for our clothes and for the houses that we live in. Most of all, we thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus. Thank you for the hope he brings us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. And we pray that you would help us to trust in him and to be content and to be better at sharing. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, and thank you, God, for donuts. Mm. We're going to finish with a song. It's called The Blessing. And this song was sung all around the world during lockdown. And it's a prayer, really, that in hard times, we would know God's blessing, his love and his grace and his favour his goodness and kindness and forgiveness as we turn to him and trust in him so this song is going to be sung to you by children from all around the world thanks for letting me join your assembly today i hope you enjoy the song <laughs>